This video will show you the process of fabricating perfectly aligned double-sided circuit boards using an other mill and other plan in Windows. While single-sided circuit boards are sufficient for many tasks, double-sided circuit boards are necessary when circuits move beyond a certain level of complexity or if you want to keep them as small and compact as possible. Making a double-sided board requires installing the alignment bracket. If you're not sure how to do that, see our bracket locating guide. Let's get started. First, set your material to double-sided FR1. If your board dimensions are different than the defaults, measure them with calipers and enter them here. Cover one side of the FR1 with double-sided tape. Make sure not to let the tape overlap. Carefully align it to the front left corner of the bracket, then push down to ensure that it's fully attached. Import an Eagle board file or a set of Gerbers. A new plan panel will appear on the right side of the other plan window. Configure the milling parameters for the top side of the board. Choose your tools and make sure to deselect outlines. We'll cut the outline of the board as our final step on the bottom side. Take a final look at the board preview and other plan to make sure that you have the appropriate tool selected and that there's enough offset to make sure that your tools will not mill into the alignment bracket. Click Start Milling to mill the top side. If you don't have the appropriate tool installed, other plan will prompt you to switch tools before milling begins. When the top side is finished milling, clean the board by vacuuming away the chips. Remove the FR1 from the other mill and peel off the tape. A little rubbing alcohol helps release the tape. Apply a new layer of tape to the top side of the board. Attach it to the bed, this time aligning it to the lower right corner of the alignment bracket. Click the toggle switch to switch to the bottom side. In the preview, you'll see the bottom side of the board design with the plan and material aligned to the right. As you did with the top side, select the appropriate tools and milling settings for the bottom side. Make sure to re-enable traces, holes, and outlines. This will ensure that the outline of your board is fully milled out. Verify your configuration using the preview, then click Start Milling to mill the bottom side. When the bottom side is finished, including the outline, you should end up with a nicely aligned double-sided board ready for you to place your components. For more guides and tutorials, visit the support section of our website. 